Hey guys, so uh, I just uh, read uh, quite a troubling uh, story actually from Samsung uh, that they're actually looking to kill the app draw on uh, the uh, next generation of TouchWiz devices. Uh, to me that seems to be quite a bad idea really given that the app draw is a staple of uh, Android here. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video you know looking at all the benefits that you do get with the uh, app draw. So uh, you know we can probably persuade uh, Samsung to you know go against that. Uh, and the story I'm actually referring to here is uh, this one uh, which basically you can see uh, it's saying that it uh, might be looking to get rid of the app draw here uh, and I think LG on the LG G5 is actually looking to do that uh, so you know this uh, seems to be quite uh, a troubling development uh, you know manufacturers trying to become more and more like uh, Apple uh, the iOS and all that uh, eventually you know we might not even have like uh, the customization of uh, Android uh, if things are continue to continue uh, now don't get me wrong you know I do like uh, iPhones uh, we do have one here in terms of you know uh, getting stuff done but uh, at the end of the day you know iOS has uh, limitations when you consider like you can't put on widgets or anything like that uh, it's also you know when you turn on the device it can be a bit kind of overwhelming like how many apps you do have like it's staring at you uh, and uh, it can get very kind of cluttered looking as well uh, when you uh, you know don't have an app drawer just to hide everything away uh, we do have like uh, the Huawei devices uh, which are actually coming with this already so you can see with the Mate 8 here uh, basically everything just gets dropped onto the uh, you know the uh, desktop here and it makes for a very cluttered experience you know if you can't be bothered to tidy it up you can see I have tried to put some things in folders but you know it just gets really cluttered and you're like you know where is everything uh, so I have already you know installed like Google Now Launcher and Nova Launcher to get around that uh, but uh, based upon my experiences with EMUI it's definitely not a good thing to do here I think and you know uh, even though LG has gone that way uh, you know I think that uh, people will be looking to probably install a third party launcher on it uh, so you know hopefully Samsung won't do this because uh, the app drawer is a staple of Android here you know it allows you to quickly uh, sort things here it allows you to you know edit uh, which ones you want to show and uh, which ones you, you want to hide uh, which is quite difficult like with the Huawei device uh, like if you want to hide something uh, I don't actually know how to do it to be honest uh, probably there is a way but it seems to be very buried away uh, if you try to hide something here uh, you will actually uninstall it so you know that's very iOS to me and uh, I hope uh, you know Samsung doesn't uh, go ahead with that uh, but yeah you know what do you think do you think it's a good idea that manufacturers are looking to get rid of the app drawer uh, personally you know I'm probably not feeling it but yeah just a quick little video here commentary on that issue and I'll see you in the next one cheers